After an experience I had yesterday, in fact last night going through into the early hours, I do very much worry about the state of our health service and what the hell has to be done about it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing alright. I'm not too bad, I'm on the road as you can see. I'm in the cab and hopefully now I've found the little flip button uh, you can see I'm not actually in the left-hand drive, I'm in a right-hand drive, a uh, normal everyday British car on our roads. Anyway, let's get on with the story, shall we? Yes, we've had a little bit of a problem with Jack in the last couple of days in that he's not been feeling very well. Uh, he, he was complaining of a bad tummy. And uh, we thought, oh, just normal stomach ache. And that, that subsided. And he went to school when everything was fine. Uh, the stomach ache kind of returned in the evening and he had a bit of a troubled night sleeping. He woke up the next day and he was fine again. Went to school, come back. This was uh, yesterday I'm actually referring to. And then later on in the uh, afternoon, I get a call from my wife saying that Jack's crying in lots and lots of pain because of his tummy. Immediately, I start thinking all sorts, and I, I'm saying to my wife, check the left of his side, you know, thinking appendicitis or, or all sorts. And I said, don't faff about, phone 111, and, uh, you know, just check with them while I'm on my way home. Anyway, they turned around and said, someone will phone within the hour and, uh, you know, to tell you what to do. About three hours later, actually, we got a call saying, we've made an, appoint an appointment for you at the hospital. Get him up there as soon as you can. So we went up there. Three hours it took the hospital for a nine-year-old child to be seen, my nine-year-old child. Uh, and there were other parents up there that were seeing a different doctor. And they were told that their doctor was actually in Brighton, of all places. Bear in mind, I live in Margate. Poor state of affairs, really, really poor state of affairs. I, you know, I, sometimes the staff uh, can only work with what they have to work with. It turns out that the uh, problem with Jack, he's got a touch of gastritis, and uh, you know, he'll be fine. Roll forward to today, we needed to get his medication. I went to a chemist uh, locally to get it. Sorry, we're shut. Hang on, I've just walked in the door. Yes, we're shut. We're only doing that in, in, in today. We're only open for that. So disappear off and you can't have your paracetamol either. Right, okay. So my wife, bless her, goes down to another chemist locally. I feel like naming them, but I won't. She hands a prescription in. 45 minutes she's waiting there. Only to be told after 45 minutes, terribly sorry, this uh, prescription you've given us 45 minutes ago, we don't actually have this. 45 minutes she was left waiting there. And again, another pharmacy completely taken up with, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. it's silly season at the farm, it really is. Eventually she managed to find some in the local boots, which was thankful. And the other thankful thing is Jack will be absolutely okay. But with that horror experience overnight, I do wonder, why is our health service in the state it's in? And more importantly, what do we do about it? Let me know in the comments below if you've had similar, uh, and you know, your opinion on it too. Needs talking about. Toodaloo.